Ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. Let me begin by thanking you. Thanking you for your presence, the time taken out, traveling far distances, Sunday morning, rainy Sunday morning. So thank you. So you've, uh, you've honored me uh, and your presence is very encouraging. The ambassador, I would like to thank for hosting this event and just for putting it together, the time you've spent and the pain <coughs> you've taken. Let me thank you as well. Prime Minister Imran Khan was very keen that I connect with the diaspora simply for the reason he recognizes your strength. He is aware of your contributions. He has been to America for fundraising for the different philanthropic activities that he has been undertaking. The Cancer Hospital, the Namal University and he knows how receptive how considerate the community has been. So it was very clear that I connect with you and I'll give you a reason why I'm connecting with you. I'm not connecting to raise funds. My objective is completely different and I'll spell it out. You are Americans based in the States, but you have Pakistani origin. Your stakes are in this country, your future is here, you work here, you are successful businessmen, academics, and you contribute in different ways to American society. But you do have relatives and friends in Pakistan. So you care. You care about Pakistan. And that is why you're all here. So thank you once again for your presence. Relatively speaking, is a new entity. It's a new party. When I decided to join PTI some years ago, Many of my political friends thought I had committed political suicide because this party was going nowhere. But I was of the view that time has come to break the mold. Time has come to give the people of Pakistan an alternative. They had seen many and many were disappointed with the way things were and wanted an alternative. So, Prime Minister Imran Khan was not a politician, as you know, uh, by, you know, through, through family or, you know, by choice. He chose to lead this country so that we start functioning differently. We start behaving differently. Hopefully, we will. I wanted to connect with you for another reason. As a party, we recognize that today, if we have been successful, it's primarily because of people like you. Overseas Pakistanis, who want to change, who cared about this country and felt things were not right. They connected with Imran Khan because of his philanthropic activities, supported him and thought 
and do think that he would make a difference. India is a party which has been running on contributions and funds raised overseas. So today we are in office primarily because of your support, your confidence and your trust. So thank you once again. Share some of them. Why people want to change? Why overseas Pakistanis wanted to give us an opportunity to serve people like you who are not involved in the day-to-day -day affairs. Sitting at a distance, you're observing, you're looking at things, and at times you grin the way things are. And what do you want? No personal gain. All you want is that the country should be governed better. Most of you want a rule of law. Most of you want that the leadership should be held accountable. Institutions should be reformed and they should deliver. You want services improved. That's what overseas Pakistanis want. You want the image of the country to improve. We will try and do that. We will try and live up to your expectations. It's not going to be easy because we will be confronted uh, by forces that are well entrenched. It's not easy to defeat the status quo. We've got so far with your support. We intend to move on. And we intend to change the way people think and the way people behave in Pakistan. We intend to change attitudes and approach. Thank you for your trust in us. And inshallah, we'll try and deliver. We as a party want you to play a role. We realize that Pakistanis overseas have done well. Not because of connections, not because of pedigree, uh, share hard work, merit. You made it and your success stories. We wanted you to have a stake in Pakistan because you would change the debate, the national debate through your input. You have and you will. And with this modern technology, with social media and stuff like that, you can already see the change uh, taking place. That is why as a political party, we've been advocating that you have a stake, you have a share in governance. And how do we give you a share in governance? We can do that by giving you the right to vote. We tried that when the Parliamentary Committee on Electoral Reforms was meeting and we were in the opposition, I was in the opposition. We tried to sell this idea and advocated that overseas Pakistanis must have a right to vote. The established parties were not particularly keen. Perhaps, rightly or wrongly, the perception was that Pakistanis abroad are more inclined our way and the thought better keep them out and we think that you are a great resource that we have not been able to tap if you can do well here 
we could contribute to a change in Pakistan. We filed a petition in the Supreme Court and we've been successful. And the Supreme Court has ruled that every Pakistani abroad who wants to register will have a right to vote. And with this, you will have a say in policy formulation. You will have a say in governance. And you will have a say in who will run the country and how the country will be run. Hopefully, that will make a qualitative change the way Pakistan is being governed. I've just come back from Saudi Arabia and UAE. The Prime Minister is leading the delegation. Finance Minister, Minister of Commerce were there. We went and we engaged with two gentlemen. We're facing challenges and the challenges are in the realm of foreign policy and economic. It's the habit of every government to say, oh, we inherited a difficult situation. We all say that. But the honesty is, it is a difficult situation that we are we are facing. And you know, Baki Saab is sitting here, Shirin Bibi, you are sitting here. You've been contributing in different ways, foreign policy, finance, economics, and all of you, you know, you get Pakistani channels, newspapers, you read. So you know exactly the state of affairs in the country have to be cut down. In numbers, it might not be huge, but in attitude, that's a big statement we're trying to make. The second step we've taken is We've given the organizations dealing with uh, accountability freedom to operate with independence. We want to see accountability and accountability across the board. When I say accountability, one does not mean a witch hunt. When I talk about accountability, it does not mean political victimization. One has seen all that. And in today's day and age, it does not work. It will not work. If it's fair, people will recognize it.